Hi everyone and welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this Hawking Technology HOD10IP high gain dual band omnidirectional antenna kit. Let's start off with a closer look at the retail box in case you're wondering what exactly this device is and what it does. It's a high gain antenna so it's meant to increase the signal strength of your wireless networks. It's dual band so it's compatible with both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz wireless bands. It is outdoor so it is weatherproof and you can get up to 10 decibels isotropic signal strength improvement by using this antenna as opposed to the one that's built in to your existing wireless device. It's omnidirectional omnidirectional, so it works in a 360 degree radius. Uh, it's more intended to be a horizontal than vertical uh, antenna. And it is a kit, so it does include an adapter and some stuff to get you set up and going. Now, some more specs over here on the right side. Uh, again, this is going to increase your wireless network's coverage uh, with the 10 decibel isotropic antenna. It works with 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. It's compatible with 802.11 A, B, G, and N devices and it amplifies the signal in multiple directions, 360 degrees horizontally. We have some more specs here on the side, so if you want to make sure that this is going to integrate with your network, here's the package contents. You get the antenna, a wall pole, mounting kit, and a N-plugged RPSMA adapter cable, so you can connect it via a couple different connector types. Uh, system requirements. So you need an existing Wi-Fi network device, of course, that you're going to use this antenna with. The Wi-Fi network device needs to have a removable antenna. And then uh, you also need an outdoor antenna cable. If you're going to use this outdoors, you want to make sure that you have proper weatherproof material. There's some examples of outdoor antenna cables made by Hawking that you could purchase. And then you also need to ground it via a copper grounding wire. Here's some specifications. So wireless standards, 802.11 A, B, G, and N, of course. Uh, here are the wireless frequency rang ranges in the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz bandwidth that this is compatible with. The antenna gain is 8 decibels isotropic in the 2.4 gigahertz band, 10 decibel decibels isotropic in the 5 gigahertz band. It has a horizontal HP HPBW or half power beam width, beam width of 360 degrees. Vertical is only 13 degrees or 7 to 10 degrees depending on your uh, on your uh, on what band you're connecting on. So bear in mind this is going to give you a increased signal on the horizontal plane but not so much on the vertical plane. Uh, also a VSWR voltage standing wave ratio or VISWAR of 2.0 to 1 and the polarization of this antenna is vertical and linear. So linear as opposed to circular and the uh, orientation here vertical you should pay attention to that because if you want the best possible signal strength the devices that you're connecting to this or uh, using to send or receive data with this antenna should also be polarized vertical and that way you will make sure that you have much better signal strength than if you were using vertical and horizontal for example. Finally uh, the connector is an end jack you get an SMA adapter included it's white it's waterproof rating to IP67 made of fiberglass it's UV resistant weighs 0 0.9 pounds and is 3 by 3 by 46 inches. Here's a look at the contents of the box. First off, you have some product support information for contacting Hawking right there. Also, you have limited warranty information, and Hawking is providing a one-year manufacturer's warranty for this antenna. Now, we also have this uh, instruction manual here and guide for setup, which is full color and fold out and uh, very easy to understand. So I'm going to actually use this to sort of further explain a good configuration for this device. They have a demo uh, set up right here and this is actually a really good example of a really good use for this device. So here in your home for example you have your router with your internet connection connected that to a dual band access point connected the access point to your HOD10 IP uh, antenna and you're using that over water so they're using this to connect the internet out to their boat and uh, you have a wide expanse of open area, that being the water that you're connecting over. And also this is going to be connecting again on a horizontal plane rather than vertical. So that's going to be a really good example of how to take your internet connection from your home, transmit it out across the lake or wh wherever body of water you're on, uh, out to your uh, boat, for example. And then here you have a dual band bridge connected to another HOD 10P, 10P, uh, 10IP antenna. And there you have your internet connection. So uh, just an example right there. Also, they have listed here the package contents. So for example, right here, we have all of our mounting hardware. You got the antenna. You have uh, flat washers, grounding lugs, U-type screws, oh, hex nuts, uh, also wall screws, wall anchors, and the adapter cable. Uh, there again is a listing of the requirements for getting the antenna all set up and connected to your existing network. Here are your instructions for mounting the antenna, either to a pole or to a wall. 
Around here on the back, we have grounding instructions. It's important to ground your antenna to prevent electrocution and lightning damage. So uh, bear in mind, again, the copper grounding wire is not included, but there's how you would connect that to the ground of your home. Uh, also connecting the antenna over here to your wireless device. Finding a signal. Signal Again, here, an example of the, the horizontal coverage versus the vertical coverage. So again, uh, not for use in, say, a apartment building or a vertical configuration where you would need that type of coverage. Here are the tech specs, which I will show you guys right there if you want to read them. And then also some additional products which you could use in combination with this antenna to get your setup going. Here's your included adapter cable. So you have an end plug right here, and this is going over to a SMA plug, which is uh, much more common on typical home routers. So you can use that to connect because this uh, antenna has a bit beefier of a wired connection. And that's pretty much it for your accessories. And finally, of course, you have the antenna itself. Again, 46 inches long, so fairly lengthy antenna, as you can see. Fiberglass construction, so nice and sturdy. And then here down at the base is where you have the mounting for the mounting hardware. And that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Once again, this has been the Hawking Technology HOD-10IP High Gain Dual Band Omnidirectional Antenna Kit. I'm Paul with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed this video, you can find more on our Newegg YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.